YouTube Dan Otto here coming at you with the second installment of the How to Use This Pokemon series. And we are using Shadow Machamp in the Great League because last week I used Swampert. And Swampert is one of those Pokemon where you just use it as a get energy advantage and just dominate. Uh, and Shadow Machamp is a get shield advantage and dominate because this Pokemon shields up is insane. And it's because of the counter cross chop spam. And the counter, you're going to see in a couple of these matchups and the teams I put together, just just hit so hard. Even in resisted matchups, you think like, oh, you're in trouble. No, you're not, because counters do so much. So just the spam there. Let's just go through the meta. So we'll do what I'm doing with this series is we're going to go through. So just kind of give you an overview of why Machamp's strong, which is I just kind of mentioned the counter and cross chop just combo is just insane. Why you run, I'm going to run the matrix to look at the shadow versus non-shadow, which one you should use. I would say because Machamp is just so glassy anyways, and you're going to be uh, focusing on just output damage, use the Shadow Machamp, and the analysis here will show that. And then what I did is I do a team building series, which goes over how to build different teams using Pokemon. So I'm going to use that sort of series and build teams with Shadow Machamp. So let us start with uh, the analysis. So as you can see already, the Alteria, this will depend on a bait, but you can get a Rock Slide off here to take that out, but you do flip the uh spider bug no water spider someone already makes fun of me for saying that uh but basically this one is kind of like you're in trouble against so what is machamp bad at like you're gonna ghost will resist you and fairy is gonna resist you so those are gonna be two like your losses there right so you see Azzy, you see kofagrigus you see crest deox has a psychic so psychic resists you as well uh jellicent is ghost right so you you dominate some of these matchups um and then you lose to the ones that you should lose to. So anything Psychic, Ghost, um, Poison, right? The Nita Queen is tough because you can't really throw anything at the Nita Queen. So Hello Prayer is a Flyer, right? Flyer, you'll be to fine. But even in like the Save Light, look at this. Oh, you win the Save Light matchup? Yes, you do. Just wait for a couple of those battles. Um, would you think like half Ghosts? So you think you would not, but you'd be surprised. Uh, and Skarmy, you can win against a half flyer, half steel. Yep, you do, because the output damage of just Shadow Machamp is, and that's in the one shield. So if you go all the way to the ending here, uh, like you flip the Venusaur matchup just because the output damage there. So if you go to the end, the Whisk Cash, right? So that's why I prefer Shadow, and you can see 25 21, right? So why this Pokemon is good with shield advantage? Because let's actually go to the zero shield first, because this is actually important, because you go from 25 21 down to 16 31. It's because you're too glassy. And your your cross chop is an okay move, but it's not like a beast move. So just if you any move you take, you're gonna lose essentially here in this matchup, right? And that's why it does that. But let's say your opponent has zero shields and you you get a shield advantage with your um Machamp, right? You you're able to draw shields in the other one. Suddenly a one shield advantage makes you 41 and 6 against it. And your your six losses are just gonna be your charmers, right? Wiggly tough, Trevenant as as the ghost, you have really no shot against. Charm Nine Tails, right? But at the end, Metachamp is like a super, super bulky uh, psychic. But otherwise, you win almost everything. And it's just because you have, you're just so spammy and so strong with these counters. And Rock Slide has nice coverage for everything from fire to flyers, stuff like that. So you're going to win a lot of matchups there. So, how do you play with Shadow Machamp? Uh, there's a bunch of ways to play with it. So, Team One, I try and call this, so let's just think the balance team. So you need, so this is actually not the best balance team. And I, I'll, I'll show you my, I started with this and I'm like, actually, this does not work, but you need to cover yourself for, let's say four weaknesses that I mentioned. Uh, I just didn't want to use Sableye. Sableye is the best. And I think, I don't know if I use it later. I would, I switch Nita Queen for Sableye, quite honestly, or some sort of dark um, poison that will do well against the ghost, right? Because you're weak to ghosts. Okay, you're weak to, uh, you're, so weak to uh, poison, which like the Nita Queen could deal with that with the Earth Power. And and same thing with the uh, Glare and Stunfisk. You're weak to Flyer, Glare and Stunfisk. Uh, you're weak to Ghost. You're not weak. When I say weak, you're not, you don't take Super Effective from Ghost, but you like can't throw anything at it. So you're really like in trouble there. Um, so I, I put the Glare and Stunfisk mainly for the Flyers, the Poison, um and it does it's neutral against like ghost and stuff like that too 
like it you you can like be, do okay against like gel sense and stuff like that uh Nidic queen i put in because i think the shadow because I, I think i was trying to play with it because shadow net queen is the one i'm doing tomorrow so that's probably why i bet it again you're better going with like stabilize right because you stabilize will take out the ghosts and the psychics that you're gonna be weak to so i would actually put stabilize in instead of nita queen but this is the team i ran with and shadow champ stabilize you're gonna see this match up twice here in a row and i just stay in your counters are gonna be resisted these are resisted counters versus neutral shadow claws like one of the best moves in the game and you're super super glassy and you're still competing with it like you're almost doing the same amount of damage on a bull, like a uh, leveled up Sableye. And now I'm at two cross chops. And this is why you win the matchup. So you're thinking like half ghost, you're, these counters are resisted. Does not matter. And I got a second move off. They did catch on a drape. It was a good catch. But like, that's why I would have won that matchup. And just, the, and that's the power of Shadow Machamp here, right? Unless it's just like a pure ghost type or a pure psychic where you just like, can't really throw anything. You need to get the rock side and that by that time you're too glassy, you're going to lose anyways. Like anything that takes either single resisted, like the frost last matchup, same thing where it's half ice, half ghost. Um, you do well there. And then anything in like neutral matchups, if you can take uh, energy advantage or like take it sometimes a two shield, like a, the Swampert matchup, you can just take the two shield, just overpower. So like I would run this as like a balanced team. Um, I, like I said, I would put Sableye instead of Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen works okay, but like you're double weak to Ghost here, right? Um, doesn't do anything there. Registeel comes in. Um, this matchup is interesting because I have a shield advantage. Uh, I've played this matchup straight up and you lose in the zero shield because one... Um, I just let that go because I'm up a shield here, so I have, I have no problem just taking this like this. You actually lose in the zero shield to Registeel because Registeel is so broken right now. It's going to get nerfed. I, I, I got to imagine after Worlds, it's going to get nerfed. Uh, but a, cro a counter and cross chop does not take a Registeel out and then they can get to a move and take you out. So same thing here. I'm just standing here against a half ghost because it's half dark. So this is taking only single resisted. Shield up because again, even if it, though it's a resisted foul play, it's still going to take me like too low. And now I'm basically at two moves and they catch on an Asu. So <laughs> second time they caught. But again, Sableye lead, being able to like force them out of here is not terrible. Maybe this is also why I put um, Nita Queen on the team is because this matchup, because an Asu, uh, half fairy, half water. Because the, the water really makes the Registeel matchup tough. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine otherwise. Because most are running Ice Beam play rough now not a ton of running hydro pump anymore i run hydro pump on mine just because i like that coverage but uh yeah so grab a shield the problem is when your shield's down like this right because i had to burn a couple shields now they're gonna get this move off and now i have to come in here and they come with venusaur and i just bait because like thinking rock size probably gonna put them pretty low maybe they'll shield it and they do shield it so now i can come in here and get to the earthquake Frenzy Plant's going to hurt. What I'm worried is they're going to get... Uh, I'm going to have to... There, one Frenzy's not going to take me out. One Earthquake is not going to take them out. Am I going to get enough farm here? Or are they going to take me out? Or And I, I'm going to put them too low that I'm not going to get enough counters through. Yeah, I'm not liking this because they're going to put me super low. I'm only going to get like one counter through. I did bait, so I could maybe get to the Rock Slide, but the Sable is pretty far ahead. And any move is going to take me out if they get to it. So I go cross chop. It's resisted. I'm shadow. I don't think it's enough to take it out. Just short. Okay, counter down for the win. And there we go. That's, that is your beast of a team. So I would go something. So balanced team. And there's no real safe swap in this team. So like if you go balanced team, you could go Sableye, safe swap, balanced team, Registeel in the back to cover your flying weaknesses. Um, as, as an option. So the second option is Bonk. And again, I've used this idea before. If you need to say, if you need a shield advantage for your, uh, and why am I running Crest on the lead? I guess it doesn't really matter because there's like, 
it's not like an ABB style team or anything, so I can run whatever I want in the lead. Why I think I'm running Crescent League is for this reason, is to get shields down. I'm going to shield one side knowing me to shield back here. You you want to come out with a shield here. I may be able to take it out though. It looks like it's pretty thick. Anyways, the idea with this strategy with this team is get shields down, let Shadow Machamp. I'm going to let this go because Crest is thick and I, their attack is lower. So I'm going to let this go and hopefully get to a Moonblast too. Yeah, and that's what you do. Get, right, Good catch on the Nidda Queen. Uh, this is going to be resisted, but I'm going to get my Lick Tongue on it. And then again, again, just take the moves with your Crest. Take the moves with the Lick Tongue. Uh, take it out. And why Crest and Lick Tongue uh, is because I can do well against the Ghost with Lick Tongue, right? Because you're new, normal. So you just resist all the Ghost moves. What else did I say you're weak to? You're weak to, like, uh, Poison, which I guess the Psycho Cut, Leaf Blade, Gra Moonblast, or whatever. Uh, but they're just, like, two of the bulkiest Pokemon that I have that can do well in general against the meta. And just absorb damage. And I think I let this one go on purpose. Like, I had a move. But again, Shield Advantage in general, and now getting ahead on energy advantage. And I remember this loss. It's a loss because I remember Blastoise. I'm like, Blastoise is spicy and Blastoise is thick. So even though I have this shield and energy advantage, I think I'm going to lose this one. Yeah, because he's still got the Altaria. Can I get to a move? I can. Is it going to take it out? I don't know if this takes it out. Because Altaria, let's talk about a beast. So it does take it out. So there's your Shadow Machamp. And now they're going to farm me down and they're going to farm me down here. Which is, what was their second? What was their other Pokemon? Blastoise, Altaria... Um, and they caught on a Nidic Queen. So Nidic Queen's not super th tanky, but um terrible lead here. And I'm like, does this work as a safe swap? And here we go. So terrible safe swap in here. Get hit with a fairy. But what you're gonna see here is I think you're gonna do way more damage than you think you would normally do because you're just so spammy. So I can spam I can because the bubble is generally a slower charging move, and they go play rough two race, because most some are running play rough hydro pump and look how much these counters are doing to a fairy right so that's resisting so now they're probably gonna have to shield or else i'm gonna grab i'm gonna take this out here and can i get to another one i can get to another one so that extra couple is now gonna grab a second shield or take it out and i just flipped against an azu and that doesn't matter because i don't have a water in the back but like i can now have something that's not a crest having only resisted moves on the nine tails and that's just like insane, right? It's insane that I could do that. And now wall rain, easy, should be easy here with the grass knots. Um, just, I, I don't have any shields, but I would just take this move anyways. Because that's just a tickle for Cress. So that's basically how I would use this sort of team is get your energy advantage and shield advantage where you can with Machamp. Let your other tank your Pokemon just absorb. Um, and that's it. So, like, what other tanky Pokemon can work here? I think Walrein can work, right? It should deal well with most flyers and do okay against the rest of them. Like, you're one of the other ghosts that you do terrible against is Trevenant, right? So you do well in that matchup there. Uh, so Walrein, just think of the other bulky Pokemon. That's not that are, that is not weak to Fairy, right? Because you're also weak to Fairy, so you can't have like a Metacham, which is bulky. So you can have like a, a Nazu with Ice Beam. You can do well. Um, okay, kind of leaves you more double weak to Trevenant, so you probably want to cover Trevenant in the back somewhere there. Uh, I'm trying to think what other ghosts you see. You see Sableye a lot, but you can beat that with a couple things. Anyways, so that is that. And the third one I tried, um, is this going to be my, I call this one, so I tried, I wanted to try a uh, glass cannon team. And I tried it and I got killed. I think I went like 0 and 5 or something like that. It's because you need shields from a champ to do well. Because again, counter and cross shop are hard hitting, but you like kind of need that shield advantage or energy advantage. And if you have a tr truly like a glass cannon team, it's not going to work. So then I thought counter cross shop is a very spammy team. Why don't I go with a pretty spammy team? And that's where this team came up. And I'm like, I really like this team because it has just, I always think of the meta. So like, Trevenant in the meta, Ninetales, Walrein. Registeel in the meta, Machamp, Ninetales. Um, what else is in the meta? They see it was a lot. Metachamp is is tricky, but I, I, I've i done the Walrein-Metachamp match. Not as bad as you think, 
Sableye. I showed the Sableye with the Machamp matchup is okay. Plus you have Walrein there, which is doing well. So, oh yeah, and this is it, right? Right off the lead here. Um, I'm like, okay, I can't come in. This is probably my best matchup here. And I'm just going to build up. And just because the spamminess, the tankiness and the spamminess here, you're going to lose. Um, but it's not terrible here. And I get the second one off here. So now they're probably going to have to shield. And so now I just took a shield advantage. They may be, uh, could be power punch. And I maybe get to another move. Or it could be, so it's an ice punch. That's even worse. So they just like 100 energy. So they decide they have to throw. And now here we go. I've already got one shield. So if they had power punch and they could ramp up, it would be trickier. But Ice Punch Psychic, which is what a lot of them are running to, is not terrible. So is, this could be Psychic. Do I shield it? Just in case it is a Psychic and I do shield. So now both Machamp and Ninetales. I haven't done Ninetales yet. Of course, I will do it one, one day one day because it is my... Uh, again, Ninetales and Machamp are two that you have, if you have shield advantage and energy advantage, you're in pretty good situations here. So just nuke that. Come out here. It's Galarian Stunfist. This game up. This game is over. I'm already at the cross shop. Um, but even in these matchups, like, does well there. But, like, they were, like, one or two mud shots away from getting to Earthquake, which is pretty bad when I have a Shadow Counter user and a cross shop land on you. So, Metachamp again. I'm going to do the same thing here. Stay in this matchup. Maybe this one had Power Punch, if I remember. Because I remember going up against this a couple of times. And both times I was like, this is actually way better than I expected. So... Just spam these Icicle Spears. They do get a move off. Could be Psychic, so I think I may shield it up. Because they built up to Psychic, so maybe they're running Psychic Ice Punch. Because a lot of them on the lead, if you're running Metachamp, you're running Ice Punch because you could see an Altaria, so it's not bad. Power Punches, I, I kind of see those in the back more. Um, so they did shield the first one. They didn't shield, so you still lose this matchup, right? So there's your Ice Punch. Okay, again, they could just shield and take the switch advantage. But they're probably going to let this go and take shield advantage because that's what I would do. And Salazar. No, not Salazar. Salazzle? Salazzle. Um, and I come here because I'm like, okay, your fire. I don't know what your moves are, but I got to imagine that my fire moves are going to do okay. Poison Fang does a lot. So that was actually quite a, it's quite a hard hitting. I haven't seen it. I've, I know it dominates Element Cup. Uh, and I just want to get one more off. I may have to shield here. And I got to move. But I could just go in and counter all the way down. I'm going to shield and then throw this and hope that I can get to another move. And then hope I can get Mach Shadow Machamp with whatever in the back here. They double shield. And if I can get this off, great. If not, this isn't the worst. Because again, Shadow Machamp, if you get some energy advantage, I'm down to zero shield. So it's not amazing. But if I can get energy advantage, ooh, this is going to hurt. This is going to put me down to like the yellow. Yeah. So I got to hope something in the back is weak to this. Or else I'm in trouble. And here we go. That is weak to it. It doesn't, one cross shop won't take it out, but two definitely will. So this is good. Energy advantage. No problem. Goodbye, Registeel. So Shadow Machamp is an interesting one in the Great League. Um, it's got some play. A little, obviously glassy. Super spammy. Super hard hitting. Uh, I would prefer it with a team like this or my second one, quite honestly. You can again, or you can run like a Sableye, um, like a balanced team, like a Sableye safe swap, and then something in the back to deal with your flyers and your what else? Psychics. Eh, I guess Sableye covers psychics. Just a couple of those counters in the back, and then I like the spammy team. Anything with bulk to get the advantage is good. So that is that. Uh, I've already done a couple more. I'm only going to do one more uh, to cover tomorrow. That's Shadow Nidda Queen. And then I've done one for Defense Deox already, but that'll be posted later. Um, I actually did one for Shadow Gramble today. I forgot about that. That was fun. <laughs> Haven't used that in a while. So Shadow Gramble also going to be coming. Link in the, uh, comment below what you want me to do for covering. So I'll do some Ultra League. I... So I have way more options in the Great League because I've got like hundreds of Pokemon in the Great League. I only have like 10 to 15 in the Ultra League and I have none in the Master League. So you're not getting any Master League how to use this Pokemon. So I can do some for the Ultra League. Uh, but I also like covering the new cups to a certain extent if they're not ones I hate. Like I hate Element Cup. A, 500, a little cup, 500 CP. I don't, I don't like little cups. But I think we have like um, a Flying Cup, 
a, a summer cup coming up. I think the summer cup is interesting. I don't think it's next week, but uh, I don't know. this. I forget the schedule. I have to look it up. But so I made you like a mixture of like uh, teams for the cup plus how to use the Pokemon in whatever great league or ultra league is running that week. So let me know in the comments below what other ones you want to see. Uh, and I will try to do that. And that is it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.